Hey there guys, RangerF1 here and welcome back to yet another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the new F1 proposed calendar and perhaps why Chase Carey needs to be a bit careful of what he says. So, the new 2020 F1 calendar has been released this week and in my opinion, I think F1 have done a pretty good job. It hasn't been a case of not cancelling any races in the hope of them being on the agenda later on in the year. The guys at F1 have thought logically and safely to ensure that we can see safe racing as soon as possible. And as a fan of the sport, you can only appreciate it. Of course, it would be unrealistic and ultimately stupid to have started the season in Australia with thousands of people dying from a worldwide pandemic. Realistically, if that race went ahead, we would have seen far more deaths in Australia for sure. And I get that it was a, left a little late to the point at which fans were queuing outside on Friday to see FP1. But at the end of the day, it was a good decision. That being said, Chase Carey has spoken to the media this week and said a driver catching COVID will not cancel the races. And for me personally, that would go beyond safe, borderline stupid. This global pandemic has killed hundreds of thousands of people across the world. And currently, COVID deaths are still in their hundreds within the UK. If there was a case of driver or any other member of staff tested positive, then I believe the cancellation is the only option. Otherwise, we may not be seeing racing at all for the rest of the year. But that is definitely the worst case scenario and we are over the first wave. So I'm just happy to see some racing. So on a brighter note, onto the calendar. First couple of races are at the Red Bull Wing. Obviously last year we saw a great fight back from Max to deny Charles of his first win in F1. Still question the legality of that overtake, but let's move on. Obviously great memories for Red Bull, Honda's first win since 2006, but no reasons to why Austria will be a boring start to the shortened 2020 season. So the first two races are sorted, no problems there. Spielberg two weeks on the trot. Now, next the F1 circuit is off to Hungary. As far as the quality of racing goes for Hungary, I believe Hungary to be one of the better tracks on the new calendar. Last year, we saw both Toro Rosses having a good old scrap up until turn four, where Albon had to give up the fight. And a cracking battle for the lead that had every F1 fan on the edge of their seat. Unlike Austria, Max didn't have the luck he needed to get another win under his belt. Tactical genius from Mercedes caught Red Bull out and leaving Max defending for his life on the final laps of the race. Lewis grabbed his 8th win of the season, setting him right on his way to the F1 driver's title. The next couple of races are back at HQ for 6 of the 10 teams in the sport. And as a British fan myself, take it away Crofty. There really is no place like home. Quality racing at Silverstone, never a dull moment and always full of drama. Last year we saw both Mercs and both Haases having a good old scrap. One was somewhat quicker than the other, it's fair to say. What was that? Kevin just f***ing smashed the door, that's not acceptable. Swiftly moving on, after another week break, we are off to Catalonia, Spain. For me personally, not one of the most memorable tracks. But now it's fair to say this calendar finishes on a high note. Spa, then Monza. Two slightly different tracks. Spa has probably one of the best racing on the entire calendar. Iconic is a one-word description of Spa. Eau Rouge, one of the most recognised corners in the entirety of motorsport sees F1 athletes pushed to their limit. On the other hand, Monza, as well as being a historic track, is mostly known for its atmosphere and less so about the quality of racing. With no fans expected to be at any circuit anytime soon, it will be a shame to see no red wall at the grandstand of Monza this year, and most certainly no ridiculous podium celebrations that look more like a concert than a Grand Prix. And that is the end of the proposed 2020 F1 calendar. All in all, I'm just really excited to see some good quality racing back on the TV. Right guys, that is the end of the episode. I hope you have enjoyed. Please do like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a lot. That being said, if I have that being said, if I had made some fairly dodgy decisions in your opinion, please do leave a comment down below in the description and I'll sure to get back to you and have a good old discussion.